Good morning, Moral Lions. Happy Monday to you. It's going to be a great start to another week. Uh, it's a little bit different outside than when we left last week with those warm temperatures. It is very cool and cloudy, and we even have a little snow on the ground. All right, today we have several people um, visiting our building as substitutes, but also just helping out. And that's going to be the theme probably for the rest of the year. So we need to make sure that we are respectful and on task, responsible students so that we make the days go better for everyone. All right, we have a friendly face back in the building. Miss Becky Jo is here today. She is subbing in Miss Walker's second grade class. Um, and helping out, we have in Miss Mahibik's class, Miss Sorsha and Miss Armstrong. Miss Sorsha will probably be in there most of the day, but you may also have Miss Armstrong. So first grade, second grade, let's show them um, what awesome students we are. P.E., Mr. Loafink is still gone, so we're going to combine for P.E. and music again. Um, the nurse is gone, and she's going to be gone um, for a couple weeks, so please, uh, anything that can be handled in the classroom, let's do that. Um, if it's an emergency, uh, go ahead and come down to the office, and somebody will do the best that they can do to help you out. Um, please remember, lunchtime, recess times are extremely busy for Miss Kristen and we need to make sure that we only come down if we really need to. The Miss Martin, um, our counselor, is also gone for a couple weeks. Um, if it is an, uh, an emergency, um, send your students to the office or get a hold of Miss Smith, Mrs. Homan. Um, we will try to make arrangements to find them the help that they need. Um, but she is out of the building. She may be doing some FaceTiming. Um, she's still trying to work even though she can't be. <clears throat> okay, so how are those tummies? Are you hungry today? Well, I think it's going to be a yummy treat for lunch today. Bacon mac and cheese is on the menu. And tomorrow for breakfast, your grab and go option is a muffin and a cheese stick. So that's not that's not too bad. That sounds kind of good too. I talked earlier about the weather. It's overcast and cloudy and those clouds will probably hang around most of the day. Your expected high is 31 degrees, so possibly we'll get some of the snow melted. Um, but your current temperature is only 25 degrees, and with that wind chill, it only feels like 17. Around lunchtime, grab those jackets. You're going to need them because your expected recess highs are only between 29 and 31 degrees. All right, now, I have to tell you, when I came into work today, I got this feeling of happiness. I was greeted with a lot of pop positive office referrals. Um, nothing makes a principal happier than finding those on her door. So thank you to everybody who earned them and thank you to everybody who wrote them. This first one goes out to Weston Cannon in fifth grade. Um, he is being recognized by Miss Jessie for his compassion. On Thursday, Weston noticed that I was down. He went out of his way to check on me, even though it was a busy day for him with the Wax Museum. Thank you, Weston. And that is from Miss Jessie. Thanks, Weston, for being such a um, compassionate person and, and checking in on Miss Jessie. Even teachers need to be checked in on from time to time. And uh, by the way, since we were talking about the Wax Museum, fifth grade, you knocked it out of the ballpark. That was amazing. You impress me every year, and I can't wait to see next year's as well. Nice job, Mrs. Lackey, for organizing that, and Ms. Marker, both of you, for all of the work that you put into helping the students be successful at that. All right, Mrs. Soto was busy over the weekend. Here is a positive office referral for her entire class. She is recognizing them for their self-control, attitude, responsibility, integrity, hard work, teamwork, honesty, respect, and academics. Wow. It says, thank you for working so hard for Ms. Kelly. I appreciate you all from Ms. Soto. It is so hard when teachers have to be gone and when we know we can count on our classes to do the, to do the right thing even when they're not there, um, nothing makes a teacher happier. So thank you, third grade. Mrs. Weimer is being recognized by Mrs. Soto for her responsibility, hard work, teamwork, and compassion. She says, thank you for helping me with my students. I appreciate all you do. Thank you, Ms. Weimer. Um, I know it makes it easier for a teacher when somebody else steps in and helps out in their absence when they can't be there. Um, Ms. Soto is recognizing Mrs. Homan. How nice is that? Um, for her attitude, responsibility, enthusiasm, hard work, teamwork, and compassion. 
It says, thank you for your kindness and compassion. Thank you for covering interventions and recess. I appreciate it. Um, thank you, Mrs. Soto, for recognizing that. I have to tell you, I actually really like doing interventions and recess because I love being around the kids. Um, so thank you for recognizing me and uh, I appreciate that. Mrs. Lofink is being recognized by Mrs. Soto for her hard work, teamwork, and compassion. Thank you for helping me at this time. I appreciate all you do from Mrs. Soto. So thank you, Mrs. Lofink, for also stepping in and helping out. Mrs. Carlson is being recognized by Mrs. Soto. Told you she was busy this weekend. Thank you for being flexible so that my room is covered every day. I appreciate it from Mrs. Soto. Um, we definitely appreciate having Miss Kelly in there. Thank you, Miss Carlson, for that. And Miss Jackson, um, being recognized by Mrs. Soto for her attitude, responsibility, integrity, enthusiasm, hard work, teamwork, compassion, and academics. Thank you for all you are doing for my students and me. I appreciate it so much um, from Mrs. Soto. Thanks, Miss Kelly, for being in the room and helping out with the third graders. Um, we appreciate that we can count on you. That's awesome. And we have a first grader who has made it through his number recognition informative loop. Congratulations, Brayden Branham. Nice job. Like I said, nothing is better than having a Monday start off with all those positive thoughts. Um, one of the things I definitely want to talk about is the snow. There's not a lot of it out there and it might not be out there by the time we go to recess, um, but it is important that we're not throwing it. Um, we keep it on the ground. I don't think you have enough to make a snowman, but of course that would be okay. But we definitely want to make sure we're being respectful, responsible, and safe with the snow on the ground. Um, I want everybody to work on practicing kindness. We never know what everybody else is going through. Um, this time in this day and age and this time that we're going through is stressful on everybody. We need to be kind and we need to make sure that we're doing all we can to make everything run smoothly. So I just want to put an extra push in there to be respectful and responsible students so that we can have a great day, a great week, and we can stay in school as long as possible. We also need to make sure that we stay healthy. So remember, wash your hands, wear your masks, um, <coughs> use your sanitizer. Uh, we just need to really make sure that we're working hard so that everybody can stay in school. And one thing that I'm trying to do, and maybe somebody else wants to, to do this too, I know that there are other teachers doing it, but I, I'm not sure about kids. Every day in November, because we have Thanksgiving, we talk about being thankful and having gratitude. Maybe you want to think every day of something that you're thankful for or something that you um, are grateful for. Today, mine was, I'm grateful for my health because I get to come to school. Uh, some people, you know, they look at us, oh man, I have to get up and go to work. I have to get up and go to school. But I work with the most amazing students and teachers. And so I was fortunate that I was able to get up this morning and say, oh, I'm still healthy. I don't have a fever. I'm not having symptoms. Um, I've been taking care of myself and I get to go to work and be around the people that I enjoy. So thank you for making that such um, an easy thing for me to get up every day and do. All right, but now this is kind of funny. Well, it is to me. Uh, when we're talking about special holidays, <laughs> apparently it is Chaos Never Dies Day. I think most adults especially could um, say that this year, that's a very um, big understatement. Um, but the day is just, you know, what it is. Every day it gets up, it's crazy, you're running here and there, it's, it's chaotic. Um, but sometimes you think, oh, it'll be better when I get this done, but then something else pops up. So just enjoy the day, enjoy the moments, um, and maybe you can find one thing that's really been bothering you that you could check off your to-do list so that the chaos is a little bit better for tomorrow. And then it is World Freedom Day. This, I, I learned something today, and actually this is a time that I grew up in. Um, I remember being in school and I remember the fall of the Berlin Wall. But World Freedom Day symbolizes the fall of the Berlin Wall. That's a wall that went between East Germany and West Germany. And in East Germany, it was communist and people weren't able to go across to see their friends and family. They were, you know, could you imagine being told you can't leave Moral, if you go outside the city limits of Moral, you're in trouble? Well, that's how it was. They weren't able to go. But on December, or on November 8th of 1989, um, 
they decided that they were going to take down that Berlin Wall, and it was a very big deal. In the United States, it was all over the news, um, kind of like the election is right now. And they didn't actually tear the wall down on November 9th, but it was open on that day for people to go back and forth and see their families. It marked the end of communist for Eastern and Central Europe. Um, the actual wall was actually started being torn down in December, and it took about a year to get that wall completely down. Um, another word for the Berlin Wall was the Iron Curtain. So, there you go. It's not Tuesday, but there's some trivia for you uh, just ahead of time. All right, that is all I have. I'm going to go out and help with temperature checks for Miss Carlson because we're kind of shorthanded, but I hope you all have a marvelous Monday.